I finally finished watching season one of Fargo. Oh, yes. I'm very disappointed. I'm only watching the early season so I can watch the fourth season because I want to watch the Chris Rock one. Well, which you don't have to do. I know none, you None don't. of the seasons have anything to do with each other. <laughs> but there's part of my mind which doesn't want to jump that far. Even though you can watch British Baking Show in whatever order you want, you know, it's still like, well, but you have to start at season one. I would say of the four seasons, and I haven't, we haven't finished season four, obviously, season one is the worst of them. It, so they just get better. That is really, really good to know because it annoyed the hell out of me because it was nothing but professional people not knowing how to do the profession, which means that the writer and the director doesn't know what the profession is about. What really got me is that I have a history of working in a car dealership, and when Malvo shows up to take a car for a test drive, he doesn't have to hand over his driver's license for them to make a copy of it. They don't know anything about any profession in the world. <laughs> you get out of Harvard, you go to Los Angeles, you make movies and TV shows. Take up by a year and work in any profession, any profession, and then write about that. That's what Jack London did. He worked two years on a boat, and he did two years up in the Yukon, and he had a career. Okay, okay. all right, all right. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for us to get up to some unboxing right about now. This is a show where we open our mail. People send people... Huh, we open our mail, things that people send to us in our P.O. box, and we thank our donors, people who go to welcometothebasementshow.com and contribute. People like these people. Neil, Grace, Gilberto, Scott, Samuel, Mora, Andrea, Robert, Amber, Kenneth, Melanie, Grant, Greg, Ine, Goods and Services, Abigail, Cole, Crafty Fandom, Graham, William, Emily, Mitchell... Adam, Ralph, John, Mike, Shannon, Kempson, Gail, Ann, Eric, Alfred, Bernard, Andrew, JP. Thank you. I'm guessing Crafty Fandom is a blog. Possibly. Possibly an Etsy shop. Crafty. All right, this is from Sam in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Happy Halloween. Matt and Craig, my husband and I have been watching since season one, back when we were only dating. And your show is still a favorite part of our Friday night. I hope you like the kitty in the pumpkin. Reminds me of Sadie and Cece. Oh. Look at that. A Merry Halloween. Okay, this is from Mevagissi. Celebrating our first holiday away of 2020 with lots of great fish and chips. Have I read this postcard before? I don't think so. Lots of great fish and chips. Keep up. Most excellent work. Love to all the best. Matt, Jojo, and the Mini Moo. I might have read this before. I think it might have snuck back into our mail crate somehow. Have you maybe just read it? No, because I remember they sent us a postcard saying, hey, we just took a trip. Maybe they just sent us two postcards. Possibly. Guys, I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> Where is Mavagissi? No one knows. Brian, Matt and Craig, have you seen Vidor's The Crowd? Have I read this before? No. These are sounding really familiar. I don't remember this. My mind is going. Vidor's The Crowd, great visuals. This is an Asheville postcard. I know he sent us a lot of Asheville postcards. So yes. That's not the deja vu I'm getting. So have you seen it? Uh, no, I haven't. It's been on my list for a long time. I haven't seen it either. And we got an envelope here from Michael Lafferty. Oh, Michael made us a DVD design for our show for the different seasons, and he's made another one with colors this time. Hope you enjoyed this as well. Look at that. Welcome to the basement DVD cover. What's the, the tagline there? The complete second season, like a David Lynch movie if David Lynch were stupid. <laughs> it's one of my, my better lines. I think it's me carrying a lamp, Ernesto wearing a top hat, a brown cat, I assume who's supposed to be Tiger. Well, wouldn't that be Ernesto? No, Ernesto is wearing the top hat. Oh, This okay. is a brown cat. Okay. And you carrying a coffee mug that says... Tis, tis. I don't know what it says. Julie Andrews, your wish has been granted. It's the long-awaited second season of the hit YouTube series. Get your ass off my pillow, you stuck-up Radcliffe bitch. And onto the old leather couch so you can watch every episode of the season two from Saturday Night Fever to Great Train Robbery and Red Balloon. You won't want to fall asleep or miss the thing as you relive the Zabriskie three-peat, the Puspany Swope Panic, the Peanut Butter Fiasco, and the Landlord's Daughter. Nice. Hmm. Hello, my name is Stu. <laughs> Last year I watched 60 movies that were new to me. By the end of this year, it looks like I'll have watched about 60 more. Those are some good numbers there. Favorites were Donnie Darko and American Psycho. Uh, he says he doesn't fully understand either of them. It makes me feel like that my views of these movies might not be legitimate. How do you approach a movie that you don't understand? You I Just take it on whatever your terms are. You don't need to understand exactly the facets of what's going on in Donnie and Bateman's mind 
uh, to really enjoy the movies. If you watch a movie and you like it and you don't understand it, it just means you have to watch it again. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Questions? Questions, yes. TJ, D, G, I. Do or did either of you ever enjoy disc golf? Do you ever watch professional disc golf on Jomez or other YouTube channels? Do you have any cool stories about disc golf? <laughs> This question proves that you really can ask us anything. It does not just have to be movie related. Have I ever played disc golf? Once. I was not good at it, but I enjoyed it because I was playing with friends. Do I have a cool story? Yes. Okay, so we were playing, and this guy comes up behind us. He was just out there playing solo. Do you mind if I just play with you guys? And we're like, yeah, that's great. And this guy like had a briefcase full of discs. We each had two. Because you use one for throwing distance and one for putting, basically. This guy had a briefcase full. And this guy was the master of disc golf. By the end of our 18 holes, you weren't with us when we did the third hole. Could you go back to the third hole with us so we can just watch you throw it? And in the third hole, was, it was a big, long slope, and it was way out there. And we just wanted to see how beautiful it would be to watch this guy throw. And it was gorgeous. And that disc golfer was Tiger Woods. Philip Batista writes, What is your favorite movie-making city or region outside of the obvious L.A. New York City areas? That would be the Pacific Northwest because it's my favorite region of the United States. I love the color of the light out there, how the, the, the sky looks, and it really comes into play with the movies. Ryan in Forest Hills, New York. Roberto in College Point, New York. It's almost as though these two envelopes know each other. They're so similar. Okay, Ryan has sent us a seashell and a painting. I will reveal that after I read this letter. I hope the seasons have been kind to you and your loved ones. I genuinely miss the feeling of going out to see films, but even your show... But even so, your show has helped immensely. Both your wit and charm, as well as choice of films. I recently watched Charlie Coffin's I'm Thinking of Ending Things and have been spurred on by more of his films. Lately, my girlfriend Autumn has advised me on watching Adaptation and Synecdoche, New York. Of those two, I would recommend Adaptation. We got this picture of a happy skull right there, and then we've got this oil painting. I can't tell what it is, so I don't know which end is up. Uh, so there it is. I think it would be that end. That end would be up, because it seems like the darkness... Should be on the top. Let's see the yeah, other one. I think this is a human figure, because that looks like a head, and this looks like a body, and there's a suggestion of arms and a waistline there. So I think that's I think that's right. And I said it seemed like these two cards were related. They are. Dear Matt and Craig, I just wanted to start out by saying I absolutely love the show. Been watching since the Nook of the North. And I remember the day it uploaded, which is now apparently eight years ago. Oh, watching you guys r reminds me of me and my best friend Ryan who was also a big fan of the show and even sent you guys mail in previous episodes. Our favorite way to watch movies was during the summer in the park with a large screen and even larger audience. One particular one we did together was the original 1976 Omen two years ago and thought it was pretty good. 1976 Omen? Omen. 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 The, the Omen. Yes. The Omen. We plan to continue our support of the show and watch every episode when we can. Good. Thank you. He also sent a postcard. City Field. Howdy, boys. The team may suck, but you guys don't. Oh, we almost did it, so I threw it to myself. Okay. Ooh, I can't sit on this. Happy Slappy does this children's okay, show. No, it's Happy Slappy. Happy Slappy. Happy Slappy. <laughs> I'm just looking through my exposition box. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're here today to try out for the school's finest tradition. Hazing. Mom, I swear. I say the F word and the S word, but not the C word. All right, gentlemen, listen up. Now we're off to a rocky start. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. This always brought me good luck. You should carry it to me orange peel. Not just any orange peel. Scotty Pippen dropped his orange peel at the Sonics game. What's your favorite song from Scotty Pippen? <laughs> Bark, 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 Oh, fatty, fall down! There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. Ah, the beloved Christmas tradition of boredom. 
All right, all right, pass the ball. Stop the dribbling, pass the ball. This is an improv game I have regularly teached. <laughs> Fram, Red Bull, Red Bull, thank you. Okay, I get a lot of records, and I talk about them on this show. I listen to one record here. This is called Kids See Ghosts. I love that cover. Mm -hmm. This is a collaboration between Kid Kudi and Kanye West, who I'm not a big fan of these days, so it's a little <laughs> difficult to listen to him. Thankfully, he's I think, mostly does production on this. This was pretty good. I did not like the first two tracks. I didn't hear any interesting hooks or anything that really interested me at all, but the... Third and fourth tracks on side A are really good. And side B is up and down. So so I got mixed feelings about this, but but it's, it was good to listen to. And it's a great name. Did not make me see ghosts. Alexander Hawk. Michael, son of Gary. I remember that. Two movies I've never heard of before. We have The Sacrament, which is, sounds like some sort of Catholic horror movie. And The Innkeepers, Hotels. Also good for horror. Well, this is directed by Ty West, who also did House of the Devil, which is one of my favorite horror movies of the last ten years. Michael says that his dad just recently had his second hip replacement surgery, has been recovering very well. It's amazing that they now perform this operation so the salvation stays only one night and then returns the next day. While hanging out in Dad's hospital room, they watched the 1946 film noir The Dark Corner, starring Lucille Ball and Clifton Webb. I really enjoyed seeing Lucille Ball in something a bit more serious. I haven't seen that one. No, I haven't either. I'd like to see her do a dramatic role. You should go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Michael has also sent some masks for us. He says that these are masks that uh, he likes. Yes. Keep them around. My mask broke earlier during filming, and I had to run out of the car to get a spare. So keep that around for a... Yeah, definitely. Case. Here's one of the masks that he sent. I'm going to try it out. Craig, hold your breath. Uh... I don't think I'm wearing it upside down. It doesn't look like you are. I think it's making me look like Prince Charles. <laughs> I'd have to adjust these straps. But yeah, this feels very comfortable. I'm now going to switch back into my other one. How about the rest of those donors? Brandon, the Factory Boys, Malcolm Charles Carson, Benjamin Kevin Wilson, Dan Alexander, David Christine, Mara, Ferris, Tiffany, Stephanie, Marie, Mario, Michael, James, Jennifer, Ashton, Zach, Mary Beth, Elizabeth, and Nathan. Thank you. We got two more packages to open. We've been going through our big pile of mail and we've almost caught up. So uh, here we go. Ooh, some sub pop coming your way. This is from Timothy in Hamilton, Ontario. Well, this is a mystery package. Uh, it comes from Sub Pop Records in Seattle. Proto Martyr, the Agent Intellect. Wow. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Satyricon! Is there some kind of booklet back there? There is. Well, there's a little booklet with a gorilla on it. Well, I've got a stack of records here from Timothy. First of all, we have Devo Live. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It's got Gates of Steel, which I think might be my favorite Devo song. I don't know that song. A man is real, not made of steel. That sounds like Devo. Yeah. This looks interesting. L'African Tinkin Jaffa Koli. Ooh, that looks like some African... Uh, maybe just gun shooting? <laughs> I'm not positive. <laughs> they're, they're, they play the rifles. Yeah. I like African music. I like African rock music and uh, African psychedelic music. And so looking forward to finding out just what this is. Then we have The Church. Oh. Starfish. Classic. You, you know The Church? Oh, yeah. Under the Milky Way is one of my most beloved songs. And it's featured in Donnie Darko. And it's featured on this album, Under the Milky Way. Oh, well, lucky man. Cano, with a French title. This is probably Canadian music. Possiblement. Oh, yeah. This is a group of Canadians. <laughs> look, how, look how happy they look. Yeah, and relaxed. Cano, and hey, more Cano. You've opened up a Cano Cano over there. This is looking like French-Canadian music. Cool, this is... A bunch of stuff that I am unfamiliar with, and I'm looking forward to digging into it. Oh, there's a letter. Rising rents and falling demand for physical media forced one of my city's most beloved shops to close. Oh, mm. man, that's too bad. And COVID-19 has dented sales of the ones that remain. Now they have reopened. I have given them my business. I encourage you and all of your viewers to support your local record store. Yes, support your local record store, bookshops. Thank you, Tim. I think uh, the record stores in our town are doing okay. I hope they are. Because they've been adapting to shutdown and things like that. And what I've been seeing 
from emails and such, they've, they've been they've been doing okay. I will not recommend an episode from our back catalog for you to watch or re-watch. This is in honor of Air Bud, which we just watched on our show. It is another dog movie. It is Old Yeller. Yes. Episode 146. Old Yeller is kind of a legendary tearjerker, so you would think we'd have a difficult time having fun with it, and you know we didn't. <laughs> I have fond memories of that episode. You should check it out. There's a button at the end of this video that you can click to do just that. And right now, you can watch this. Watch it! Yeah, I figured out why Bolivia didn't get the napkins. <laughs> Venezuela got them. I really hope that by the end of this movie, she brings this town up to being the number one producer of napkins in the country. I want her to have an arc.